Ah, on va regarder le menu. Pour essayer. Allez, let's go. Ici, la spécialité, c'est Samgyeopsal, la poitrine de porc. Trois portions. D'accord. Donc, ça, là, ça, c'est le coup. Moi, je te fais confiance. Moi, je veux goûter. Je veux goûter. Pour accompagner, vous avez le choix entre du riz ou des nouilles, peut-être si, Des nouilles froides ah, Moi, je prends du riz. Ah, moi, des nouilles. Vous commandez comment on fait euh, Bonne question. Ah, le bouton Vas-y. Ah, ouais, le bouton. Je peux appuyer Vas-y, moi aussi. <rire> Alors, à deux, on fait à deux. Un, deux, trois. <rire> Tiens, c'est toi qui commande. Ok. Oh. <rire> non, non, non. Oui, Krogi, Sam Gepsal, Sam Inboun. Ah bon Que le Mboksal et Inboun. Et trois bières. Yogi, oh Et Sasangni. 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 Oui, Terra, Hana, que le Gou, Sero, Hana, yo. De. Zamida. Deux bières et un soju. Deux bières et un soju. Froid. Oh, devenir chaud, tu vois, il les amène froides. On boit ça, tant on ne veut encore. Ah, et alors on recommande. Ok. Tu sais, tu sais pas où je peux ranger ça parce que j'ai peur qu'il marche dessus. Dans les restaurants coréens, cachette secrète, faut savoir l'ouvrir. Voilà. Oh, génial. Oh, génial. Oui. Merci beaucoup. C'est sûr. Tu mets ça là-dedans, comme ça, ça ne sent pas le, la nourriture. Euh, oh, c'est génial. Genre. Ça, c'est génial. Ça, ça y a pas. Ça, ça y a pas. C'est une, une, une chouette idée. Vous avez jamais vu ça en Belgique Non. Ouais, c'est très malin. Et pourquoi il y a ça Griller la viande, en fait. Ah, c'est nous qui cuisinons. Ouais, c'est ça. Avec euh, euh, on aura des pinces, des ciseaux. Ouais, voilà, voilà, on va ah, couper la viande avec ça. Ok, ok. Non, non, je ne sais pas. <rire> je peux ouvrir la bière ou pas Ouais, ouais, vas-y. Oh, oh. Ah, d'abord, tu fais toi, tu fais les sous-jours Non, 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 tu sais quoi, on va faire quoi avec Cohen Tu me sers moi, je te sers toi. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Qui me sert moi Personne. <rire> Personne, ça pas le droit. Alors, quand tu respectes la personne, tu mets, tu mets deux mains. Si tu ne respectes pas, tu mets juste une main. Ah, ok, d'accord, c'est Entre ça. amis, tu mets une main, sinon tu fais, tu fais deux mains. Et ça, ça va vite en fait. Ah, ouais. Ça, c'est pour le, le jus qui coule. Et alors, soju Oui. Moi, c'est moi qui te sers ton soju. Bien, ça, il apprend vite. Je croyais que j'allais faire à deux mains. <rire> Waouh Magnifique Ça, c'est la poitrine de porc, alors. Magnifique Est-ce que je, je peux prendre une photo Oui, bien sûr, bien sûr. Il n'y a pas de couvert Les couverts sont là. Où ça Qu'est-ce que tu veux Encore un truc, un truc astucieux. Oh, c'est génial, s'il te plaît. Des baguettes et une pierre. Merci beaucoup. Alors, dis-moi. Le soju C'est quoi le soju Le soju, c'est l'alcool de riz. Okay. Tu le mets dans la bière. Et puis après, attention, tu mélanges. Ah, vraiment Vas-y. Allez. Wow. <rire> la mousse. <rire> Les vieux, ça. <rire> Santé. Oh. Christophe, je peux aussi avoir une protection pour pas me salir. Merci beaucoup. Tu veux toi Je sais pas si c'est à ta taille par contre. C'est pas grave. Ah ouais <rire> Pour garder ton dété. Non, moi ça va. Santé, bonheur. Qu'est-ce qu'on Comment on dit, Comment on dit Santé. Tan. 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 T'es pas obligé de tout boire. Hein. <rire> ok. Qui a écrit ce la, la pincette Ils vont s'en charger, c'est eux qui vont le griller pour nous. Tu dois rien faire. C'est vrai, ils s'en occupent ouais, ouais. Ok. Grill, ça ressemble à quoi Comme je dis, c'est le, le couvercle. Sur le couvercle, ils faisaient griller de la viande peut-être. Mais en fait, euh, chaque grill a sa... Il y a un trou là pour évacuer ouais, la, la ouais, graisse. Là, ça va là, et après... Ok, ok, ça... Vous êtes dans le restaurant coréen, en Belgique Il y aura des restaurants coréens, mais j'ai euh, jamais fait ça. Et le lard, il est plus fin en général et on le... Ça, c'est bon. Ça va être magnifique. Bien grillé. Et puis on coupe, on coupe ça avec les, les ciseaux. Et, là, et ce qu'il y a là, c'est quoi Mouxal, c'est donc c'est la viande du coup, c'est un peu différent. Et tu voulais de la viande. Hein. Ouais. Ça, ça a l'air magnifique, hein, magnifique. Tu manges tous les, les petits légumes qui vont avec. Ok. Champignons. Fougères, les fougères. Okay, okay. On mange pas chez nous les fougères Non, ouais, pas à ma cool. connaissance. Et ça, c'est kimchi. Kimchi, ça on connaît. Ça, 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 ça. Des petits oignons aussi okay. marinés. Ouais, c'est extraordinaire. Non, oh, je fais les photos. Oh, ouais, je t'enverrai les photos. C'est génial. Et ce qui est fou, c'est qu'il y a. Il n'y a pas d'odeur, tu vois ce que je veux dire C'est directement aspiré, c'est vraiment bien. Ah ouais, mais tu as vu le système de, de ventilation, d'aération ah, Tout est pensé. Hein. Si restaurant, en fait, tu as un, une boule d'aération pour chaque... Ok, ok, ok. C'est pas quelque chose qu'on va cuire. Non, 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 ça on mange séparément. Accompagnement. Tu prends les salades, tu prends les morceaux de viande, tu mets dans ta bouche. Ah, okay. Et c'est piquant Et c'est piquant Le kimchi. Le kimchi est piquant, okay. On peut goûter ou pas ouais, Tu peux goûter en général, c'est avec le riz, tu manges avec le riz. Goût assez prononcé, mais certains aiment, d'autres pas. Ouais Ça c'est très 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 bon ça. Mais ça, ça se mélange au riz ça. Tu prends genre du riz et tu, tu trempes euh, dedans. C'est chouette ce principe de manger euh, ensemble. Ouais, ça c'est pas quelque chose qu'on fait en, en Belgique. Et nous on, on a notre assiette, ouais, on, a, on prend notre plat. plat. Ici, j'ai déjà vu, il y a même des gens, ils prennent, ils mettent dans l'assiette de l'eau. Ouais, tu vois, tiens, ouais, ouais. prends ça, ouais. moi je prends ouais. ça. Tu vois, on, on partage quoi. C'est vraiment un esprit de partage. Ouais. Ça c'est vraiment sympa quoi. Tu, ça, en général, c'est souvent comme ça. Hein. Ouais, c'est toujours comme ça. C'est vraiment, c'est convivial en fait. Et la couleur de la viande. 
Magnifique, magnifique. Ça va être très très bon. Ça va être très 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 bon. On peut le faire hein, s'il veut. On fait ça tout le temps. C'est toujours comme ça ouais. Ok. Ouais, mais c'est très gentil. Vous faites ça très bien. Ça la chine d'avant. Ching ça avec ça. Et ça se fait toujours avec euh, du porc Ou ça se fait aussi parfois avec du bœuf ouais. Du poulet aussi ou pas de poulet Le poulet c'est plus takalbi comme nous on a fait. Marmite tout à des légumes et t'as du, du poulet mariné et ça on a mangé ensemble, ça en général du bœuf ou du porc. Ok, j'ai vu qu'il n'est pas obligé de mettre beaucoup de piquant. Hein. Il n'est pas obligé. Le piquant c'est juste ça. C'est sûr, hein ouais, parce que la petite sauce là, elle me fait peur. Ah, la petite sauce elle ne va pas la mettre, elle va pas la mettre. C'est toi qui trempe ton truc dedans. C'est prêt Kamzamida. Kamzamida, merci beaucoup. Prenez juste euh, genre euh, un, deux, comme ça. Et alors okay. vous... Là on peut aussi prendre du kimchi. Ouais, tout à fait. Bon, vas-y, 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 vas-y. Prends, prends, prends. Non, vas-y. Non, 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 <rire> T'en prends une, je peux tremper la main. Tu peux tremper, ouais. Tu peux tremper dans du sel ou dans ce que tu veux. Il y a aussi la sauce, c'est la sauce de. C'est piquant Un petit peu, mais c'est vraiment très bon. Ouais, mais c'est piquant. Euh... C'est pas si piquant que ça. C'est pas très piquant. C'est piquant, c'est piquant, fais gaffe. Mais ça, c'est de l'ail, c'est un morceau d'ail que tu mets dedans comme ça Ouais. Ça, c'est quoi Ah oui, c'est ce que tu donnes. Des fougères. Des fougères. Tu as mis dans mon. Le kimchi, ta, 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 ta feuille. Euh... Et on tu la mets tout en mouchoir. Tout en Ok, ok. C'est bon On y va, on y va Bah c'est bon, c'est vraiment bon, c'est vraiment très très... Et avec, t'as pris un peu d'ail <rire> Tu lis la joie sur mon visage ouais. de manger. Et on est toujours obligé de manger avec la salade ou on peut manger comme Tout ça aussi Tout ce que tu veux, tu peux manger comme ça Des, des, des tranches, tranches de radis, tu mets ta viande dedans... C'est chokkal, ça s'appelle chokkal en coréen. Tu dois le manger direct ou ouais. je peux... Toi, tu peux manger comme ça. Je te brûle pas, dis-moi si c'est chaud. C'est un peu salé, quoi. Le lard est salé. Vous mangez pas trop salé, quoi. Ça, ici, c'est pas salé. Hein. Mais, mais vous mangez pas très salé, hein. Certaines personnes, j'ai demandé à ma femme aussi, elle me dit, les Coréens mangent salé. Je demande à certains amis, les Coréens mangent salé. Mais en fait, euh, par rapport aux Belges, on, je crois pas que les Coréens mangent salé, quoi. Quand vous cuisinez Un peu, mais il y a quand même, il y a la sauce soja qui, qui, qui est de toute façon épicée. Vous cuisinez beaucoup parce que je vois, il y a, il y a plein de restaurants, en fait. Vous avez, le, le Coréen va beaucoup au restaurant. Quand on voit tous les restaurants qu'il y a, ouais, tous les jours, je cuisine chez moi à la maison, je vais beaucoup à l'extérieur. Mais souvent, quand tu travailles, tu n'as pas trop le temps de rentrer, de faire à manger. Même le soir, tu travailles beaucoup ici. Donc, euh, quand tu rentres à la maison, il faut encore se faire à manger. En plus, les ingrédients coûtent assez cher. Donc, quand tu vas au restaurant, ça revient plus ou moins au même, en fait. C'est peut-être. Sauf si tu cuisines pour une grande famille, 5, 6 personnes, alors là, c'est plus économique. C'est pas très cher. Mais c'est pas très cher d'aller au restaurant. Tout le monde peut se permettre d'aller. Enfin, presque tout le monde peut se permettre d'aller au restaurant très régulièrement. Oh, donc, vous parlez, moi, je mange. Hein. <rire> T'aimes bien ça hein Ça, c'est. On peut redemander. Tout ce qu'on a ici, on peut en redemander. C'est okay. gratuit, c'est à volonté. Ça, t'as goûté, Chris, c'est délicieux, ça. Tu prends une petite tranche, tu mets dedans, avec un petit morceau d'ail, je te donne un morceau d'ail. Tu veux, tu veux ton riz maintenant Non, pas spécialement. Tu peux manger le riz avec et... Non, non, moi, je suis très content. Et ça, je peux mettre dans ma, ma feuille Ouais, là, bien sûr. Ça, ça c'est très bon, c'est vrai. Moi, je suis pas sûr que je respecte le protocole. Hein. J'en ai pas mis beaucoup. Hein. Mange, mange comme tu veux manger. Tu es libre. Ça, il faut pas Demande un peu comme ça. De sésame On demande. Un peu de la chonnette. Demande encore un peu ça, c'est bon ça. Le kimchi, explique c'est quoi le kimchi Ah mais c'est du chou. C'est du chou fermenté avec euh, des épices. C'est des jarres, c'est des... Non, c'est ça. En général, traditionnellement, chaque famille fait son kimchi pour l'année. Ok. Euh, plus ou moins épicé. Ouais, c'est ça. Tous les repas, on voit du kimchi. Ouais, ouais, hein. c'est la base de la nourriture euh, coréenne. Quoi. C'est bon, c'est bon. Ça, je peux faire aussi, Chris. Hein. Je fais ce que tu veux. Ouais, je fais ce que je veux, c'est ce que tu veux. Ah, avec tes doigts, ah, ça non. Hein. <rire> du, du moment que je demande une fois dans ma bouche. C'est le principal. C'est délicieux. Et du moment que tu souris quand tu le manges. Ah, moi, j'y arrive pas. <rire> Faut prendre ça tu vois le jus les heures tu utilises pour faire, faire euh, chauffer les, les légumes qu'est ce qu'il frotte quoi c'est quoi ça c'est pour nettoyer on peut manger ça c'est du lard du lard là ouais. et donc il graisse le, le couvercle avec du gras de viande ok ah ouais encore autre chose quoi. le coup encore ouais tu peux en commander vas-y vas bière ouais ouais bière que j'ai remarqué c'est le service est rapide rapide, hein. ouais. rapide. toujours rapide. comme ça non, non. toujours comme ça un restaurant où tu, tu dois rester à attendre maximum 30 secondes c'est vrai ah non sérieux oui il y a des restaurants où on part parce que on attend trop longtemps ouais, ouais. ça n'existe pas ici ça n'existe pas <rire> non non ça n'existe pas impossible impossible et donc bref quand tu veux quelque chose tu appuies sur la sonnette il arrive franchement en disque j'ai pas appuyé en belgique j'ai du mal quoi j'ai du mal je commande genre 
j'attends 10 minutes. C'est pour ça que tu vas au restaurant. Ouais. Voilà. Donc, ah, c'est pour ça Moi, je vais le faire au soju. Hein. Oh. Bah, il y en a encore. Ça pique, hein, le soju. Doucement, hein, Christo. Bah, on va le laisser. Non, non on va pas le laisser. Oh, pardon. Et une main, une main, une main, une main. Ouais. Laisse-moi te servir. Attends. Deux mains, deux mains, deux mains. Hop, 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 hop. Moi, je sais, mais pas... Celui-là, il va être beau. Fais un beau, un beau gros fort, là. Ouais, ouais. regarde, c'est beau, comme C'est beau, c'est beau. beau. Ah, bon. Dis-lui qu'il peut faire des gros morceaux. Hein. <rire> ça, c'est pour moi. Tu... Comme ça, ça peut... Pour celle en fait, il y a moins de gras. Et Christophe, ah, oui. après cette entrée, qu'est-ce qu'on va manger <rire> Mais tu peux encore commander, hein. Ouais, tu peux recommander euh, les morceaux de l'art. Non, non, attends, non, 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 non. Attends. Non. Ouais, si il aime bien Sam Gipsel, on peut recommander Sam Gipsel. Non, non, mais, mais dis-moi ce qu'il y a d'autre. Il n'y avait pas de la peau. La peau, tu veux Est-ce qu'on peut prendre la, la peau de la... et du lard oui. bah, Je vais prendre deux portions de lard et une portion de peau. Ok. C'est bon ça. Il est... Il est... Quand tu, tu trinques, tu bois. Ouais, mais tu ne dois pas le boire pour en un coup. Quoi. Non, non, non. <rire> ça, il fallait pas nous dire Santé, ça. Chris. Ça, il fallait pas nous dire. Mais le, le soju, c'est. Mais c'est de l'alcool de riz, c'est ça Non, c'est pas ça Ouais, c'est ça. L'alcool de riz. Soju, c'est de l'alcool de base en Corée. Ah, les grands amis, grands amis, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Ça m'embête qu'on peut pas un peu boire ça comme ça là. Tu veux du riz Tu veux ton riz maintenant non, 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 non. Comment ça En fait, le riz, ça va être quand Parce que j'ai peut-être, il y aura encore un gros morceau de riz après. Mais on vient de commander beaucoup de viande, donc euh... c'est parfait. Beaucoup de viande Un petit peu. Deux, C'est pas beaucoup. Le riz ou le... les nouilles. Les nouilles, tu veux maintenant En général, c'est ça. Tu manges quand t'as fini la viande, tu manges le riz ou les nouilles. Mais tu veux des nouilles Oui. Du riz oui. Ouais, demande du kimchi. Du kimchi Ok. Ça, c'est bon. Tu voulais quelque chose d'autre encore en plus Non, non, non. Moi, j'aime moi, bien la viande. Ah, c'est là, ça, ils ont apporté les, les trucs en plus. Oh, oh non, ça, c'est bon, ça. Ouais. Oh, mais ça, c'est encore une idée de crise, ça. On n'y pas à la Vous aimez bien Vous préférez ça ou le, la poitrine de porc Ça, c'est bon. David <rire> Ah Non, <rire> C'est très 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 bon. Mais par contre, vous avez vu, je mange moins de salade. Hein. Ça, c'est pas très utile la salade, je trouve. Faire semblant. Ouais. Alors, je vais goûter celle-là. Les feuilles de sésame qui sont cachées en dessous. Elles sont en dessous, ouais. On préfère ça. Trouve-moi une feuille de sésame. Là. Laquelle Quel type de salade Ah ouais. Oh comme ça, Mida, merci beaucoup. La peau de porc, particulier. Ouais, mais je comprends ah, pas. Ouais, vraiment. Tu verras, vraiment. Il jette rien, il mange tout, par les intestins, les abats, les peaux, tout. Vas-y, explique-moi maintenant. Comme, comme j'ai le riz, comment je fais avec ça et Tu mets un peu dans ton riz, et puis tu reprends le riz. Voilà. Et tu prends un peu de riz comme ça, tu prends, tu reprends et tu, tu manges. Ton riz. Oh, c'est bon, c'est très très bon, quoi. Tu manges avec mmh. Oh. oh, ça devient transparent. Vous avez déjà mangé la peau de porc Jamais, jamais, jamais. Quajik, voilà. Quajik. Oh, quajik. C'est bon pour la peau. Très bon pour la peau. J'ai une belle peau Non, t'as une très belle peau. Voilà. On est parti, quoi. <rire> Je pense qu'on est bien parti. Recommande de la viande. Allez. Yogi. Donne-moi donne une serviette. Ouais, là. Si. Je suis coincé. Attends. T'as le genre. Ça, c'est les, les nouilles froides. De la glace ouais. Des glaçons, tu manges ça avec euh, yuxus, donc c'est de la sauce, enfin euh, de la sauce, de, un jus, un, un, un bouillon euh, froid. Mille caloués. Mille C'est des nouilles de farine. Il est très professionnel, j'aime beaucoup son travail. Ouais. Vous êtes très gentil. Ça, à la ça, es vraiment, là. vraiment, c'est très gentil, merci. Et Chris, je t'en mets Je te sers oh, Bien sûr. Ah, ah, comme ça, ah merci beaucoup. On mange bien encore et on mange vraiment bien encore. On mange vraiment vraiment bien. Vous avez goûté ça Ouais ouais on y va. Collagène. C'est spécial. Le bon. Mais je préfère l'autre. Mais c'est bon, c'est bon, c'est bon, c'est bon. C'est bon. pas une... Euh, je sais pas comment dire. Ah, c'est la consistance ouais. qui est un peu... Euh, quoi Quoi voilà, c'est exactement ça, c'est ça. On a été en Espagne et il mange des oreilles de porc. Mmh. Et ça, c'est encore différent. Mais ça, c'est... Mais, mais je suis content parce que c'est lui qui a choisi ça. Oh, c'est bon. Tu manges une nouille froide euh, Des nouilles comme ça, ouais, noires, comme ça. Mmh. Vous pouvez boire un peu de jus ah, c'est bon, je te C'est bon, hein. Et je peux prendre ça. 
Mmh. C'est quand même très très bon ça. C'est addictif. Chungdong, c'est addictif. C'est comme un chips, tu vois ce que je veux dire. Pourquoi le, le froid C'est meilleur euh, les nouilles froides En été, quand t'as chaud, t'as pas envie de, as envie de manger de nouilles, mais t'as pas envie de la chaleur de, de, du bouillon. En été, quand il fait 40 degrés dehors, tu manges ça, ça, oh, ça te rafraîchit. Ouais, ouais, ça nous rafraîchit, ouais. <rire> Qu'est-ce qu'on fait Deux Un Ouais. De, une. une. On commence à une. une. On, on commence. On commence. Il y a aussi aussi ça qu'il est. Je vais rater. Oh, oh. <rire> je suis content, je suis très content. Tu peux encore commander deux Tu <rire> peux manger ce qu'il met là. Ouais. Ah, attends, avant. On l'a eu, il aurait jamais dû nous dire ça. Allez. Ça, c'est vraiment très, très bon. Ça, c'est vraiment, mais vraiment très, très bon. Hein. Tu as assez, dit la baleine. Magnifique. Tu vas le manger, ça Tu veux le manger, toi Ouais. Fais gaffe à l'os. Ouais, j'ai vu. T'inquiète, tu vas le manger. Ah, bien manger. Ouais C'est vous, c'est Actually, it is one. What? What month for you? June. July. Ah, uh, two months. May three, baby. What are you? May. Five. Yeah, end of May, though. Oh, oh, oh. oh. charcoal. Yeah. Oh, where do they get the charcoal from? <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Straight from the kiln. Oh. Yeah. The big. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that looks so cool. Do you want to try the intestine? Yeah, you want to. I love intestine. Is it spicy? Oh, it's really nice. Very sour. So sour. Wow, that's really good. That's my jam. It's like mugunji, right? It's like. You're about the math later, right? Mugunji <laughs> 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 and Dongchimi had a baby <laughs> next to a charcoal field. <laughs> and that's okay. Do you want to put the charcoal in there? Maybe. Maybe that's why it's so clean. Yeah, no clean yeah. mm. We're looking for a kimchi serving. It's mm. still the recipe. That's amazing. Mm. Oh, Dang Song. She is. Whoa. Wow. Who wants my food? Right. Yeah, what flavor is that? Oh, it's just a local. A little, little bit of charcoal oh, chili in there? Chili sauce. Uh, ah. Oh, I think it's good. One in meal board. Chili sauce. Yeah, chili sauce. Oh, this is the good Oh. The other one? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
Just me. <laughs> Ooh. John. Done. Smell the charcoal, bro. I'm close to charcoal. Yeah, we can even just smell it on the pork. Mm. Really good. Mm. Oh, that's it. That's that's, that's the winner the piece right there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's why I came for it. Mm. Yeah, that's the move. Mm. Oh. Spread it to the sides. Typical Korean dad move right there. I'll hit that off here, I'll hit that off here. Play for me. <laughs> and a double piece. And now it's completely for like, uncooked. Like even when I go with my wife's parents, yeah. we cook a barbecue. Like even if it was like beef. Mm. And I was like, oh medium round, I'm like perfect, ready to go. like no, then I'll press the meat down yeah. until it's all. But then they'll be like, you get? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want to eat well, Especially lamb. Like lamb, like, like I like lamb like, 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 like medium, but they're like, no. Yeah. Or duck, when I like duck skewers. Duck skewers, yeah. Yeah, it's like medium's really nice. Ram, medium, that's it. Mm. Like lamb and stuff. Has to be medium. I should have more lamb in Korea. Mm. I'm not eating lamb in Korea. It's all Australian lamb anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Can you taste the charcoal? Which one's this? The tender? No. Oh, that's nice. I'm coming Take something like the gosadi, and then you put that with the pork. Oh, you oh, onion, onion. Mmm, cooked on. I thought you said the oh, intestine. Mm. Oh. Mm. The the one that looks like honeycomb. Is that the one you're talking about? Uh, huh? No, it's, it's the tendon. tendon. Oh, like, tendon. Like, uh, you know, in the knee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Intestine. Yeah, yeah. Like, try. Like, Have you been to the place near the yoksa? It's been there for like six years. You've been. Oh, like the, the old spot. Oh, right yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been there for like six years. You've been. Oh, the old spot around the barbecue street. Barbecue street. Yeah, amazing. It's like you have to walk up the big hill. Yeah. Mm. So I, took, I took summer. It was okay. really, really good. Not yesterday, but before. Mm. Gop is all about the seasoning that they use. Mm. Everyone has their own special mix, and this place is just everything. took us there and was like, oh, I can't find the place I always go to, but we'll go here. This place looks great. We went in. We were sat there for about 20 minutes. It's like, no. This, this is, is it. The place. I've been, I've been, I've just been too drunk. I've been four <laughs> times, but every time I'd gone, I sat in a different spot and I was drunk. So when I actually went there and I was sober, I was like, hold on a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 And the other thing was, I didn't walk up the big hill to get there. I walked downhill, so I wasn't. Three, I was out of my element, right? <laughs> wow. That's what I'm going to miss about in Australia. Yeah. Just intestines in Australia are just... You can't eat them, right? No. Nah, it's... But it's like, legally you can't eat them. You can get them, but they're not processed the same either. Yeah, they're all dirty and... Yeah. Smelly. Uh, like here, not. like, when I first had intestine, I thought it was going to be super smelly, like got junk. No. But it's so, oh. so clean. It's just delicious. It's just like, it's just like chewy, it's such melting It's an amazing fat. texture, yeah. You can yeah. clean it a lot because it's yeah. very popular. Yeah. There's, there's, when you get closer to the market, though, they don't clean, I don't know that they don't clean it, but the fresher it is, the more it stinks. Yeah. It? But it's yeah, like good. Yeah, that's that, is that the, is that the OG stuff, oh. is it? When you go to like the, what's that big market called? Yongdong Shijang. Yongdong If you go yeah. outside of Yongdong, there's all the little, I wouldn't say, they're all like really small restaurants that look a bit dodgy, but they're really good. And one lady there does a gopchang on the big pan, but the fresher it is, the more pungent it is. Mm. This oh. and this is seriously just, Oh. <laughs> but you know it's true, like when they're using their charcoal, it doesn't like like flame up. Oh. Yeah. You're saying that's what makes their charcoal special. 
is that like it can burn and then the fat doesn't flare up. Oh really? And make the meat taste like burnt, like oil. It's really cool. That's soft. Now what else do you need in life? Kimchi, mm. pork, mm. makhli, cooked over a nice bit of charcoal. It tastes charcoal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, actually. Oh, really? really? Oh. I don't know if it's just because it's like mixed with my nose from the... <laughs> Everything <laughs> smells like smoke, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm. How many times do I don't know what. Like every time I leave Seoul and I go to one of these places, oh. food is always just so, so baggy, much so baggy. In Seoul, like, you cook over the charcoal, you can taste the charcoal, charcoal flavor. Charcoal, yeah. And I was like, I always thought it was good, but then like you have here and it's so subtle that it's yeah. like, oh, okay, it's like yeah. a nice charcoal that is really so good. But there is only a picture of it, only a picture of it. Like when, when the fat lands on the charcoal, it, that's true though, it hasn't, it hasn't flamed up once, right? Because it, it's got a higher burning point. Yeah. So it burns lower but longer. Okay. That's why we use the apple wood, because apple wood jacks the heat yeah. and gives it like nice smoke flavor. So it's like you control your heat using the wood. Is it worth okay. leaving salt to come here basically? It's looking at this entire experience. Oh. Including yeah. the food in yeah. Like it just adds on top of a great day. I feel like you're gonna stay the night here. Yeah, that would be pretty really cool. I think sleep the night in this one. I don't know if you're allowed to, but. I think it's cool though, you can come, you can see the charcoal, you can do the jimjil bum, and then oh. you can go eat at a restaurant that uses that charcoal. Charcoal, yeah. You just need to meet the pigs, and I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, now that you're saying that. <laughs> Let's go to Freddy. Let's Freddy. I'm going for it. Sorry. Done, buddy. That's, he was like, ah! Wow. That's so mm. wow. You like that bit where it's like, that is like, oh. it's like smoke. Like, oh. Yeah, the fat really grabs the smoke nicely. Mm. Mm. Oh. Having that kimchi just to clear away the fat. But, mm. but I like it because it has more like that. It has a little bit more shit gum. It's like a bit more than me. It's less fat and you get a little bit more of that texture. What about you? What do you like best? Samgyeopsa or moksa? Moksa. I'm a moksa guy. Uh, it's more what even the fat. Yeah. What about you, Samma? Moksa? Samgyeopsa. Yoshi. Hamgyeopsa. Ma, it's like TBO. Can with these oh, chairs? You can Korean barbecue, this. very nice. Because oh. usually, that's genius. Because <laughs> usually when you grill the meat, yes. the smell is also coming, so you don't want it to be in your clothes. Is that why the bag? Yeah, that's why there's a the plastic there. bag as well. Oh, that's nice. But you know? A drawer! Oh! Oh, it's with you, yeah. Okay, so you, you didn't even have I it I don't there. even have it in here, see? <laughs> so you should, this you should well take This was well thought before. Yeah, see, see. Okay. The worker comes. I just love doing different things. The main reason why I wanted to come here too, because yeah. I, I just wanted to experience this whole culture. Here. Yeah. Just following the music side of Korean culture yeah. for so long. Never been to Korea, so why wouldn't I just come here for a little while? I think you're here for like three months, right? Yeah. That's yeah. yeah that's quite. Brave to I come know. alone, be three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn everything from the scratch. Yeah. <laughs> I was at the airport in Helsinki. I felt so scared because yeah. I was like, obviously, I had contacted a lot of yeah. music industry people from here already. So I kind of felt when I was just departing from yeah. Helsinki. It is a different culture. To right. So we can start with the beer? Let's start with the beer. Yeah, I'm here teaching you. Is there right or wrong way to open a cask? Maybe, bottle? but I'm not that smart. Okay. I don't know them. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna go with the traditional way. Yeah. There we go. Also, when you pour, you need to pour with two, two hands. <gasps> oh my god. 
Thank you. And then I will also, when you're pouring yourself, so that you don't feel alone or disrespected, then I will put a hat in here to like show oh, you at just, least. Just like, uh, okay, okay, yeah. right, right, right. You have it looks paper. like I've never had a beer before. <laughs> <laughs> For us, especially alcohol is expensive. Definitely not expensive here. Yeah, not. It's so cheap in here. We'll start by. We'll start. We say so. We go from be or keep this. Keep this. Oh yes. You did another <sighs> mistake. Again? <laughs> so oh what you would God. do is you don't drink like this because I'm older than you. Yeah. So you would like change your head so you're not drinking directly as you were me. Oh, so I can't basically look. Yeah, yeah. It would be like way. you would turn. Sometimes you might even want to like cover it. Yes. Yeah. And while drinking. And it's fun. Now you can learn them, but when you're drunk, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, just to remember all this. Yeah. And it became viral. And after yeah. that, I think K-pop is not quite popular, isn't it? K-pop is like huge. Yeah. In Finland, I feel so. All of the biggest uh, K-pop songs, they are coming in, in the radio. So the K-pop songs are that. in radio in Finland? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had no idea. There is also like a K-pop show at the national broadcast station. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's interesting and what I find crazy is that we use scissors for like... Oh yeah, that was a bit interesting. It's easy, right? It's easy, yeah. yeah. I lived quite long now in Korea, but nowadays at home I use scissors to almost like everything when cooking. Because basically yeah. then I have the same yeah. experience, like the biggest consumer of K-pop. Yeah. But I, I just love their kind of mentality and love that culture. Yeah. Uh, and just by being a musician, kind of different approach what K-pop has to, yeah, to deliver for the whole like music industry. The reason I started to like K-pop and all of the Western music that time for, for girls was super sexy. Mm. And you know, as a young girl, like it felt very uncomfortable. Then I was watching K-pop and everything's cute and colorful and, and then I love the dances. Nowadays I think K-pop has like variety. Of also I love that it's not only one genre what yeah. they're going with, it's just everything all yeah, together. Yeah, it's like people say K-pop, but there's different kinds of K-pop as well. I just love that because my mentality with my own music, what I do, is yeah. usually more is more. I would not lie when I, if I say that you are the most known Finnish artist. I cannot find a Finnish person who doesn't know who you are. And you, how long have you been doing music? For like... I started at 2012. And how old were you when you started? I was working on my first album when I was 10. That's what? long. Like you can't even remember time before music for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. I just love music in general. Yeah. Let's try the sun gifts. Okay. I think okay. we can also take these. So as you said, these are called uh, pantan. 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 So they, there is samjang sauce. They actually sell this in Finland as well. Genip. It's also like a fermented sauce made from some of fish. So we'll start with the samjang sauce because that's not spicy. When you want start to make soy sauce, you're first gonna ferment the soybeans. So you put them into this like jar, yes. and you fer ferment them for quite long with other ingredients. But when you take the liquid away, that's soy sauce. But those oh. beans that are staying in there, yeah. you make these sauces from it. In Finland also, I think if you have the red uh, spicy sauce, that's kochujang. Yeah. Oh, and here yeah. is also the jang. The Korean soy sauce is kanjang. It's actually amazing because it brings out like the meatiness. Taking meat, dipping it to the samjang. Let me do it. Here. Yeah, we want to see that. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Ooh. Mmm. It's good? Really good. Yes, yeah. this, this is why you come to Korea. <laughs> Full. The yeah, whole let's do taste it. of it. Yeah. To be honest, I haven't really eaten anything today because I knew that we're gonna eat something. Mm. Let's try the hand. spicy sauce. Let me do it like this. Mmm. <laughs> so I can see you're okay with spicy food. Wait until it kicks in. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. There was also uh, garlic. Mm. That was a good thing. It really works well with the salmon kip salad. Oh yeah, this one was my favorite. Oh, so good. <laughs> What we're gonna do is we do sam. So you take the leaf, yep. you take a piece of meat, you take your samjang sauce, you put other things as well. I think we can take the mane. Mm. Then you like kind of like a make this kind of thing and you eat it. Here you go. Thank you very much. 
Oh, oh by the way, I know what I did wrong. What? I didn't take it with two hands. Oh, see, yeah. But you didn't give it to me with two hands. <laughs> <laughs> I make mistakes too. <laughs> two two fins trying trying to be mm. polite here. Uh, so you take meat. Is there like an, any specific order I have to do it in? Not that I know of. Oh, but okay. maybe somebody in the comments will let us know. <laughs> maybe. In the then you put the sauce. Yes. Garlic is my friend. Okay. And you kind of like bundle it. You make a bundle of it and yeah, then you yeah. eat. Uh, all in one. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> the garlic really hit me. The texture that the lettuce leaf mm. kind of gives it is very fresh. Also, the texture that it has together with the lettuce yeah. is just fantastic. Yeah. So we're gonna try the sesame leaf. Yay. So you can take a bit of kimchi. That's, That's kimchi. A kimchi. This kimchi. is kimchi too. They're just different kimchi. Radish that you've cut. Ah, okay. And this is this is the cabbage. Yeah. And those are many different. So with that, they're a cucumber. There are so many different kimchi. So you put it in yes. here. You make kind of like a nice little package. Then you eat it. Simple as that. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, I like this one. It's really good. How is there so much like, where does the taste come from? Mm -hmm. Because it's basically only this and then I had a little bit of that and then only one leaf. Mm. Oh. So this is, this is what I really oh like about Korean food is that you're eating meat, but at the same time you have so many dishes because of the side dishes. I uh, almost like forgot that there was meat in it. Yeah. Because there are so many different kind of flavors. Different flavors, there. yeah. And now you can just eat how you wish. Okay, great. Uh, what's in there? What? What? I'm doing it so wrong, I know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, it's good. I'll take a little bit of soup together with it. Mmm. There's the flavor. Now, okay, now it makes sense. Actually, um, I know somebody who's your fan. Oh. So I think I'm gonna call her. Cool. I think everybody is your fan, but. Hello, mumma. Yo. Kuuleksä mua? Kuulen, kuulen. Tiedätkö, kenen sä oot nyt kaiuttimella? Tiedätkö, kenen kanssa me tässä jutellaan? No ei, Lotan kanssa. <laughs> Mutta mä, tiedät, sä tiedät sen Robinin. Mikä? <laughs> tiedät Robin, muistat sä? No, ei, eikö se ole Pian? Ei Pian poika Roni, vaan se, se Robin, sieltä, se laulaja. <laughs> Hang up. Hello. Niin, niin se laula ja Robin. Robin, joo! Tosta joo. Niin, nyt voit puhua sinä Robinin kanssa. Tervehdys, tervehdys sinne mummolle vaan. Tervehdys, tervehdys. Ihan tuttu poika. Ne on paljon katsottu sua. <laughs> joo, mä ajattelin, kun sä, me ollaan sun kanssa puhuttu, että kun säkin siitä Robinista tykkäät, niin mä ajattelin soittaa sulle. Kai. Joo. Kai. Ihan loistavaa. Onpa Va hauska kuulla. Nyt ei tietystikään nähdä valitettavasti tällä kertaa, mutta tota, ihana kuulla, kuulla ääntä, ääntäsi. Ja, tota, ja, ja, ja kiva, jos tykkäät meikäläisen musasta ja muutenkin. Oletko katso sä katsonut jotain vain elämää ohjelmaa vai mitäköhän ohjelmaa sä oot? Kuule, ihan kaikki, ihan kaikki. <laughs> Joo, ne on ihan parhaita. Ai, ja että. sinä oot siinä aina sellainen ihana veto, vetonaula ja piristys. Kato, se on tuollainen vielä nuorikin, ei se nyt ikä kato. Niin vielä on nuori. <laughs> Niin. Odotapa muutama vuosi, niin meikäläinenkin, meikäläinenkin vanhenee, mutta tota, ei kai, ei kai. No. Ei vaan, saa, saa tehdä no sitä, ei, mistä tykkään. Ei, sinä vaan kuule, sulla on niin ihana luonne, se pysyy samanlaisena. <laughs> me kuule, mä ajattelin vaan näin pikasti soittaa, me jatketaan, me ollaan syömässä sitä korealaista lihaa, muistat sä? Ja, joo. Niin, niin me ollaan nyt Robinin kanssa täällä syömässä. No mä rupin niitä kysyä, mitä se korea tuntuu. Oi, tämähän on tuntunut oikein mukavalta, että mä oon vasta kaksi ja puoli viikkoa noin suurin piirtein ollut täällä. Ja... Niin, en oo kauhean kauan ollut. Et mä en oo vielä edes päässyt näkemään kaikki paikkoja ja, ja kokemaan kaikki juttuja, mutta ainakin nyt tähän mennessä, niin mä oon ihan rakastunut tähän koko paikkaan. Joo, ja, joo, kyllä. Sama, sama sana, kun on kaksi kertaa käynyt Joo, kyllä mä, mul, nyt jo on semmonen olo, että et onpa ikävää, että joutuu mennä takaisin kotiin jossain kohtaa sitten Suomeen, mutta joo. Mutta hei, kiitos soitosta. No, oh, <laughs> stay in a connection. Yeah, but I think everybody is your fan. <laughs> I think you just did a tour. Oh yeah, 
Right. Right. Together with Alan Walker. Yeah. I was like a male vocalist mm. on that tour. It's actually gonna continue. Oh, it is? In the future, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting they for it. They just released my uh, pop by in, in Korea. Oh, you have to tell too. Alan Walker to come. Like, people want to see you too, of course, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Alan Walker will be nice to come to Korea. Yeah, I, I already know that he is coming here on June oh. this year. But I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna be coming yeah, yeah. with him. But, but yeah, yeah, actually, Alan is part-time living in Finland. Oh, so I didn't know. So that's how I got to know him. Yeah. It was almost maybe like four years ago. We did this one. TV yeah, show together yeah. with him in Finland. Yeah, I think we can press the button again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there any like other cities to to maybe visit? And I'm gonna go to Jeju. Yeah. And I'm gonna go to Busan. What I like about Korea is that their domestic travel is very great. Oh, um, okay. What I think you have to go to, like, what's my bit is Andong. You get this. There is this UNESCO World Heritage Place that has like a very old real Korean housing oh and you can see the villages and also the people there are amazing they have their what I really like about Korea is that in Finland it's more like if you go to different places they are different but they are quite similar with each other but Korean uh, tourism has done it very well that all of these cities have their own thing just this oh is that like a sausage So this is tuenjanggu. Tuenjang is itself the fermented soybeans and you yeah. you make the soup out of it. So you have tofu in there as well. And then this is called, um, it's yennal tushirak. Yennal is like old, tushirak is like a lunchbox. <gasps> yeah. I would, this is one of my favorite foods in Korea, actually. Seeing some people that they put it and they shake. What? <laughs> so you put the lid on and you shake it. And then you start shaking it. Making music. That's yeah. that's how we make music in, yeah. in the studio. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. yeah, but this is your next song. So, after <laughs> this... <laughs> Ta ding Huh? I know, it was prettier before, but you're supposed to mix it. <laughs> So now you can try it. Mm. We have the most traditional soup is maybe salmon soup. I would say so, yeah. yeah so this is kind of like the Korean traditional salmon soup, the thing that tastes like home, you know? What's so like please the try it. It is so hot, but it's so good too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's good. But I have to, I, I would have to wait until it cools down a little bit because oh my but I love the fact that the ingredients are also very normal. There is onion, what else? Beef. I think there might be a potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's nothing like like too Weird. fancy. Yeah, yeah. Then we can try the yennal tushira. Now it's uh, well mixed. Now it's mixed. So you just take a piece of it. Mm. Oh yeah. Something something like very spiky, some individual <laughs> taste of something, yeah. which I liked. I it was so. also little fish. Fish? Huh? There is a little fish. There are fish in there. <laughs> yes, this one. What? Great. Oh my yeah. god. I Did didn't see? know. Mm. It's also very creamy. Something if it has something to do with gochujang and everything else combined. Yeah. Or egg. Yeah, really, really nice. It didn't really like taste like anything. Mm. The bean. But I think everything else really makes this. The Korean food like basic element for everything is the fermentation of the food. Mm. Like for example, the gochujang, the samjang, tuenjang, all of these are fermented sauces, so it gives like a deep flavor of things. Also kimchi. Kimchi has fermentation process in there that yes. brings out the good. And I think that's the biggest difference. I mean, I. I I really like it. Yeah. I really like it. Mmm. So I think the Korean food is good for you. I mean, I mean, it's yeah. the best. Yeah. <laughs> I would maybe need to add a few Korean food items to my rider as well. But I think, I think what we can do now, we're yep. gonna have the rest of our beer, and then we're gonna go continue to our next place. Oh right. But let's take one shot, as in Korean they usually do. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So yeah, and here you can put the jackets inside of the... Oh, that's convenient. The plastic on the table yeah, for the mess. Easy. Yeah, so yeah, I'd say we just take some Gyeopsal, classic pork, pork mok the, the jowl? Is that the one you're talking about? No, this one here, that's a neck part. Oh, okay. Sajang-nim! 
Oxal e bun, could you go samgyopsal e bun just so? You can just yell across. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's really strange. You just say one. Super and that was really weird in the beginning. Yeah. Sharing side dish, just like a Korean leaf. Okay. There's no translation Yum. for this. Young. Young, yeah. That's like, oh, that's uh, chives, Korean chives, oh, yeah. yeah. And obviously kimchi, and this is individual. Gojoneng, oh, that's a Korean word for oh. this, a bit spicy. Samjang, so that's like a mix between the two basic uh, soybean paste and chili paste. Oh, okay. And they obviously so add like garlic and stuff. Yeah, salt. And salt. So here they're gonna cook. Okay. So it's a little bit inclined, you know. They, it's gonna run out all, all the, the fat, fat. And then so they put the meat on the top, like veggies on the bottom. The tray for, yeah. That's for so the, the, all the cooked meat you can put on, so oh, it stops. And you, just, you know, there's like and they cook for us. I guess it depends from business to business. I like if they cook for us. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So how is it in Canada? With it's nothing like this. You don't get <laughs> side dishes. There's not many side dishes. Obviously, depending where you go, you get plates individually, right? Yeah, exactly yeah. individually. Yeah, and you always yeah. cut cutlery. You always find under the table. Oh, yeah. oh here, yeah, yeah, here, but yeah. never, yeah. I'm really bad at using chopsticks. Yeah, good. <laughs> You're gonna learn. This is how you learn, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mostly if they see you struggle too badly, they just <laughs> bring you a fork. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they cut it up. Okay. Are oh, they grilling it too? Mm. Oh, okay. I even saw on the menu fried kimchi fried rice. That sounds it's delicious. Just everywhere. Like... What is the oil used? Oh, chamgyeram, that's uh, the same that we use. That's sesame seed oil. Oh, uh, okay. And the other one was sesame. sesame leaf oil. I love pork belly. It's like my favorite. Yeah, can't really go wrong Especially with that. Especially when you get grill, uh, like you grill it. Some is tree, so that's like tree layer. Tree layers of the pork belly. They also have this one I saw it earlier. It's like ogopsal. Ogopsal, yeah, that's five layers. What? Yeah, it's just they cut off more fat in this oh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The other one is the neck part. I really like this that. This is the neck. Okay, that's the neck. Yeah. I want, I'm really looking forward to trying that. That's not normal. We don't typically use scissors to cut up stuff. No, they don't have knives here. It's super versatile though. Like, yeah. It's way better. You're having a way easier time cutting yeah. things with scissors than anything, you know? Yeah, and they put the meat on the top, so now it goes like through yeah, yeah, and you get all the other things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Like he sorts everything else. All the yeah. pieces are like the nice same size, yeah. which is always like Professional. something you he try to... He knows what he's doing, you can tell. Yeah. He's done this a few hundred times, for sure. Yeah. Well, you know the drill, like trying to have everything the same size. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, so I think that's one of the biggest stitch-ups that we have in the restaurants oh, yeah. in general. Anything. Like, and, yeah, and then nicely sorted. If you don't, cook it the yeah. you don't cut it the same size, it's, yeah. you're going to have weirdly cut meat. I really cook meat. I really like when they cook for you. It's like... Yeah, nice charm. It's interesting, like, I've never seen um, this, like, this being used much. I guess you can do a bunch of things with those. Yeah, one of the biggest things I've noticed is how fast the service is here. Oh yeah, yeah. In general, like you're, it's you come, very quick. You eat, and as soon as the last person's done, you get up and go. Yeah, I love that. But what's fun as well is like, since everything is so fast, when you're like with other people, you mostly go like, just to another restaurant. Yeah. So yeah, on this street at night, it's just full, just restaurants. You can't even make a decision. Yeah. So you go like, first round, you go barbecue. And then Are you these just thing. markets? Like, what is this? That's all restaurants. Oh, okay. They're like, kind of area, restaurant area here. How is it you ventilate all this? The smoke that comes off. Oh, here. Usually they have like one that comes down, yeah. but I guess they yeah. have a huge system here as well. That's what I've normally seen. Is on the, 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 yeah. yeah. Serious investment as well, like all the ventilation. Yeah, you know, you wouldn't think and about then, that. And the gas too to the table. That's another serious investment. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I guess it's like in the floor that comes out individually to each table. That's practical though. Sometimes yeah. you go to restaurants and they have these gas bottles. Yeah, you yeah. know the ones oh, that you yeah. put on the side. Yeah, the and then they run out in the middle of the food and oh, they have to change God. it. Yeah, and that's yeah. the worst. Should we get something to drink with this? Yeah. Uh, I have never had barbecue in Korea. Oh yeah? A glass of soju or something. Yeah. It's like so... And the same in Canada. When you have barbecue, you have to have a beer. Oh yeah, it's yeah. just so classic. Fast, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's told us that it's ready. So we're good to go. So we just take from there. Yeah. We don't have to wait. No, no. I think the other ones, it was more raw inside. It's going to take a while. Yeah, and obviously with all the side dishes, I love making a bunch of different combinations. He'll put the kimchi up there too. Yeah, he's going to do it all and tell us how to eat it. And this is really nice. I would like to work with that, but I haven't found them raw yet. Like it's already pickled for you. Yeah, we have it a lot in, oh, in okay. Belgium, yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Okay, method, it's called sam. sam. So sam just means wrap. And you can do it with, with basically any leaf. So you can do it with seaweed, with lettuce, with... Um, the most is classic is just samjang, this sauce, and raw garlic. Raw garlic might be a bit heavy if you... Yeah, just like raw. Just raw, yeah. I was yeah, surprised as well. Like, But it's pretty... After a while, when you get used to it, little spiciness to it. And then you just wrap it like a, like a wrap. There's not, it's different though, because you don't normally see that with garlic, just to no. eat it raw like that. But and the samjang, it exists everywhere. And I mean, not everywhere, but like in a bunch of restaurants with different just dishes. Classic. Yeah. It's a good pairing. Yeah. And it's easy to eat as well. I have to make a wrap out of it now. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, so what is, is this? If you ferment rice with water and Korean yeast, you will end up with a, with a very cloudy alcohol, which is called makali. It's like fermented rice wine. And when you take the, the upper part and you distill it, you end up with this. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not too strong and it's like so what nice is that it's small bottles, so you can yeah. just share mm -hmm. one and then yeah. you're it's good for the day. We just don't, we always cheers. And then I've, I've read that you're not supposed to look at each other. No, uh, yeah, that's yeah. between you, between us. It, so you have like hierarchy in Korea, but yeah. you can also abolish this by if you talk about it openly. Oh. Like, so for example, you're a bit younger. Yeah. I would just from just tell you, yeah. I don't care about it. That's interesting. That's definitely different from Canada. Yeah, absolutely. No, the wrap. It's like oniony, but it's really nice. I like it a lot. It's probably my favorite side. Like I just, I could eat just this alone. Just eating it alone is nice. It's almost like a palate cleanser. So mm -hmm. you're eating all this rich meat. It's fresh, yeah. And then when you eat it with a wrap, it kind of just goes perfectly together. It gives it that nice balance of fatty and yeah. a little sweet, a little tart. No, it's just really nice. It's a classic. It's called Changaji. So basically, Changaji is just a method where they put like soy sauce or that's actually the original. Some to make the, the leaf. I'll show you how to like make it. Like a wrap? For the yeah. Wrap. yeah. How we would use the pickle, but they yeah, use yeah. soy sauce. That's how you get always the brown and then color. And you just let it sit and it gets yeah. better and better. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this one is like the original sum. So it's not that you have like to do it with one specific leaf. This is just lettuce. This is lettuce. Okay. And so you put your meat inside, your sauce. Yeah, the more uh, combinations you can make. Yeah. yeah, and then the sum, you wrap it. And no matter how big you make it, you have to eat it in one go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so okay. I think you went pretty hard, yeah. but you're going you're gonna <laughs> to nah. shove it down. But there we go. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Very good, way too big. <laughs> so that's how you learn. Yeah. But I really like like just some vegetables, especially with this like high protein and salty. Mm. This is salty. Kimchi Everything, obviously yeah, a little salty. salty, little pickled. Yeah. There's stuff all over and then mm. just that basic is fine. Yeah, yeah, it balances it out. I also like the acidity of the gongina mul. Mm -hmm. I don't find myself using the salt because it's so everything's like very well seasoned. Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah. So, you know, it's funny because in Canada, the I feel like opposite. Everything is under seasoned. Mm. Take out food anyways. So yeah, and in Korean to cheers, you like gombe. Gombe. It's weird also when I came here, people don't look each other in the eyes. When but that's, that's what something we always do. Yeah. yeah. In Belgium, you look. Same, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. don't in Canada? You just drink. Oh, it's okay, not like okay. a do or don't, you know? If anything, we probably, it's more looking each other in yeah. the eyes than anything. I think you cut it a bit. There you go. Hey, you know where the cheers come from? It's from like medieval times, and you make sure that some of yours goes into the other one. Oh. So make sure that you guys don't I poison, didn't know that, that you don't poison each other. Oh. That's the same where the handshake comes from. No, you do like this actually to yeah. see if the other person doesn't have like a, a knife, knife there. Or, yeah, I've heard yeah, that before. Yeah. No, I like this a lot. Mm. It's, uh, it's very delicious. You don't even need to look up a place to go. You just, if you want to eat barbecue, you just go in the street. Walk, go. You'll find. No, it's super delicious. I love it. What is this here? There's a sauce you, where you can oh. put your kimchi a little bit inside. Okay, but wait, I was cutting it. Yeah, I felt it was a bit big cut. And then what do they do on this here? They just do like sesame? Oh, that's just marinated, yeah. I think they put sesame seeds as well, yeah. yeah just yeah. to say, actually. <laughs> it's a nice thing with scissors and stuff. You can just put everything in the nice portions. It's too easy to eat. You can just mm. sit here eating all day. Mm. Drinking. And so what is this sauce exactly with the kimchi here? It's a dipping sauce. Oh, oh that's like a fermented fish sauce, like with kalchi. Kalchi is like very long and silvery. Looks like an eel, and so, but way more shiny. Okay. It has a bit of spice to it. Yeah. Mm. Gochujang inside, yeah. It is quite fishy, but I like that. 
I think the pork belly though is my favorite, but I've always loved pork belly. Like even if this is like meat, they like to season with like salted seafood. Like you'll see sometimes you have like little bowl with shrimps. Okay. They're really salted, like it would replace the salt. Yeah, in Canada, I don't think they use it very often. It'd be more of like a fusion attempt at making Yeah, we would use Asian. Let's go down, this sauce is yummy. Mm -hmm. yeah, and side dishes, it's unlimited. Oh, you just so, come with as, as much yeah, as you want? Yeah, if you just want more. But the problem is, I feel like it's always a nice amount, but when you run out of it, at the end, you have like two or three pieces left, and you're like, you just want a little bit. They're gonna bring you more than the initial part. Oh, so how was your favorite until now in Korea? Your favorite. favorite dish? Favorite dish, actually. I think this kind of version of cooking, do you guys get a lot of pork in Canada? Yeah, like like meat is a big thing. And then you eat your main and then you can choose like after a soup or like uh, or like noodles, you see. I really love like just fried rice. You wanna do the fried rice? You saw it earlier already, yeah? I know, I saw that. That was like the first thing that caught my eye. Was, like, yeah, that's the little fried I love cake. kimchi bokumbap. I mean, uh, bokumbap, I don't just say on it. It's, that's very different in Canada. <laughs> the yelling across is... Yeah, Every time imagine I... when the place is packed. Uh -huh. Then you need to be louder than the next table. To get your food, it's like a battle. Mm. <laughs> Even like raising your hand like this is like, it's found to be inappropriate. Already? Yeah, it's on the server's job to know, oh, the table looks like they yeah, need help. How about know? like a pop? There's a little less manners. Yeah. Hey, I need a beer or hey, I need this. Absolutely. You know? yeah. Yeah. More yeah. fine dining, it's like r very rude to snap. Well, snap, I mean snap, snap is think... inhuman. It's like you're not a dog. Yeah, you're not a it's dog. It's like whistling. Yeah. Somebody would whistle at my waitress. Can go. Had it happen at your restaurant? No, never. Well, I mean, like, if we meet and you're like across the street, like super far, then I would whistle. Yeah. yeah Any yeah. other ways? No. No, no way. Not no in way. the service industry. Yeah. Yeah, and this fried rice, there's a bunch of different ones. You have uh, fish eggs, cheese and kimchi. Cheese and some kimchi? cheese at the end and then it melts, so you have like the crispiness oh, man. from mm -hmm. the rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love white rice because yeah. it's natural no, it's like yeah. potato yeah it's, it's way like, better it's, than... not, it's not like pasta it's processed yeah. yeah even the bread is like highly processed rice is just it just it's, comes from the field yeah, yeah. yeah. but the, i like to eat the, book, uh, the rice at the end it's just like now you're 80 percent full and then you yeah, eat until you're full and just then you to go yeah. it's a better way of instead of the other way around i feel like plain rice is like i waste space in my stomach yeah. to eat this delicious yeah, exactly. food yeah yeah so in korea also what's funny is like food and alcohol it's not very separated. It's like we have restaurants and we have like pubs. Yeah. It's like so you, you can go out and just drink. Yeah. They, they don't do this here. Like it doesn't exist. It's just always together. Yeah. I've never seen a table without food. It's like even if you go here to a like very pub thing, there's always going to be somebody's going to order food to drink without eating something yeah. salty. Back in the days at home, you can go out and just have like beers with your buddies. Yeah. And there's no food at the table. No, ever. exactly. Not even nuts. Nothing. No. It's just Usually it's that way. Like if yeah. you're going out to drink, you'd be like, let's go drink. But here there's always. It's like more gray area. And I think it was you were you were telling me Koreans love uh, having something salty with their desserts. Oh, come salty down. You would eat with a spoon. Yeah, rice they eat with spoon. Yeah. In Korea yeah, they yeah, use they sticky well. rice, and so this is actually possible to eat with chopsticks. Yeah. It's not like it's the what's the rice in like South Asia? Super fluffy and just like each grain falls apart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I definitely love. Korean rice. Yeah. I've never had bad rice in Korea. It's so nice though. Yeah, they can cook rice. It's really, it's like a color lunchbox. Okay. It's like from before. The, so it's th this is the lunchbox? Yeah, they usually, this was like in the 1780s. Okay. And now they, usually they do it at the table, which I like actually, yeah. because like they can use the fat. Yeah. The seaweed, yeah. Kim. yeah. Kim. Seaweed in Korea. It's like if you go in Belgium and order a beer. There's like yeah. so many seaweeds. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you get different tastes, obviously. Of each yeah, seaweed. and then you have like so many seaweeds. I just tried that alone and I thought to myself, oh, it might need a little salt, but then this is salty, so mm. you can't, you know, you gotta try it all at the same time. There's not much texture off from it, but yeah, the saltiness, it gives it another depth of flavor. It's very nice. That's, That's, down. That's a nice little end of the... Mm. End of the meal snack. I could just eat this alone. You do, yeah. this. <laughs> you yeah, do yeah. this in your apartment, yeah? You can, I think you can order just that in, in specific restaurants. Just this. Just a dish, like, just fried rice, yeah. It's not very spicy either. It's very like um, the kimchi is like almost like muddled. Mm. It's like muddled from the rice and the egg and everything. For us, the first time, kimchi is like spicy. Well, I think the most versatile about it is the acidity from the lactobacilli from yeah. the fermentation. Yeah, yeah. It breaks down a lot. Or like one of my favorite things to cook for staff meal is I take the kimchi liquid 
and I vacuum spare ribs in there oh. for like three days, and as the the lactobacillus the acid, break, yeah, breaks, the acidity just oh, breaks the whole. It's meat almost down. similar to like how you do like uh, put yogurt on chicken oh, or something. Uh, yeah, like and then it's like that just, acid. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Typically with fried rice, you'd expect the the egg to be like cooked into it. Oh, like, I'd say know, that's more Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah, that's Chinese probably where food. I've gotten it from. There. Yeah, yeah. Also, oh, the egg is not mandatory. No, no, they just, just give it to us. That's a nice touch, though. I love that. I love egg. The seaweed is delicious. It adds like a, a nice saltiness to the dish that it needs. I realize that the big difference is they mix a lot of sea and earth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've right. never actually thought about that. It's like we have here sea, we have here sea, and this is like land. Land. Sea, land. Yeah, I guess. In a way. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely different. This is very filling, though. Mm. Yeah. Finishing it off, like you said, it's like mm. 80%, and then the last 20% of that rice and the kimchi is like all you needed. Allora, io sono Giustino, primo chef italiano, cucino da ormai da 25 anni. Hotel La Casa Valdese. Molto, sono molto incuriosito di questo locale, è molto bello. Sono curioso di vedere quello che mangiano queste ragazze. Fino adesso non ho mai assaggiato cucina coreana, e infatti sono incuriosito di, di tutte queste, queste ricette sul menù. Buonasera. Buonasera. Piccante? Sì, piccante, un po' piccante. Un po' piccante. Salsa di soia e peperoncino? Sì. sì. Perfetto. È interessante come, come sistema di cucina, eh? noi che siamo abituati a, a stare in cucina dall'altra parte, qui possiamo cucinare tutto al piatto. Okay, tutto qui. Questo, diciamo, è il setto Questo è tutto, tutto per il barbecue, perfetto. Quando tu ordini una cosa del barbecue, ecco, questo è... E qui ci cuciniamo, anzi ci cucina. Sì. E questo è, è, è in, tutti, in tutti i locali coreani, se vuoi sopravvivere. <ride> Ma questa è una rapa? Cavolo kimchi. Sì. Cavolo kimchi. Buono. Un po' piccante. Questo è, una, è un antiossidante, un, un pulitore di vene. Oh. Possiamo assaggiare le salse? Ah, ecco, questo è il, il brodo che dicevamo. Come si chiama questo? Ah, la, la pancetta è tagliata a cubetti. Ah, ecco. Sempre per la cottura. È interessante questa cucina così live, dal vivo. Il profumo è buono. Devo dire che viene un profumo è buono. Che... La giri. Perfetto. Bene, bene. Bellissimo. Quindi c'è un sistema di, di cucina per la mancetta. Tre volte. Se andassi che... È un po' piccante, ma non c'è carne qui dentro, non c'è niente di brodo di carne, solo verdure. Un bel sapore, eh? Interessante. Questo formaggio è, è il tofu? Quello non è formaggio, è il tofu. È il tofu? Vabbè, certo, questo è tofu. Questo è buonissimo. Ah, queste sono per tagliare la pancetta, immagino. Questa è comodissima per tagliare questo tipo di pancetta. 
bisognerebbe adesso provare per la, per la tagliata, ma in Italia non ho mai visto usare le forbici, usiamo solo il coltello. A me piace molto questa, questa, questo connubio di, di ricette, sarà che io sono un appassionato di brodo. Una coppia, per dire, una coppia che stare in armonia a tavola è anche carino fare questa di locale, diciamo che è, è, è molto bello, mi piace, mi piace. Mangiate la pancetta? Sì, mangiamo la pancetta, anche arrostita, non la facciamo al forno, anche alla brace, questa è una, è, una, è una carne che mangiamo anche noi. Il moltino oh, e si mangia in un boccone. Mm. Buono E così fate voi in Corea? Io lo accompagno col brodo eh? Sì. Ah. Guarda, il brodo da accompagnamento alle pietanze Secondo me è da valorizzare Beh, Visto che ce dobbiamo mettere Dobbiamo mangiarla con boccone ci dobbiamo mettere più carne se no l'insalata sovrasta il, il, la carne come? Cenza. Cenza. questo è piccante questo è meno piccante però questo sa di affumicato c'è un sentore di affumicato come si chiama questo? Cian -cian. Secondo il mio gusto la migliore, la migliore salsa da, da accompagnamento alla carne è questa. Questa secondo me è la, è la salsa che accompagna benissimo la carne. Diciamo che non si avvicina al gusto nostro europeo, però insomma diciamo che è tutto buono, diverso. Però è bello provare tutte queste tipo di cucine perché poi si arricchisce il bagaglio culturale, specialmente per un cuoco. Questo è straordinario sto brodo, guarda. E che piatto è quello? Ma ci stanno tante cose da assaggiare. Eh. con l'aceto ah, l'olio di sesamo è interessante da assaggiare questa qui è, è la conclusione del pasto coreano prima si mangia la carne e poi in realtà il riso è tu il riso c'è una cosa simile in Italia? no no non credo io non l'ho mai visto cioè questo è proprio come una pizza una pizza di riso Buono, sì ho visto un mix di tutto quanto quello che diciamo è rimasto nel, nella bistecchiera, il gusto è, è suo, il secondo me è da provare, poi può piacere o no, a me è piaciuta, è piaciuta la pancetta, è piaciuto il brodo, tutte le salse che ce n'erano diciamo abbastanza per, per condire tutta la carne, è un successo. È un successo, secondo me va bene, questa cosa piace tantissimo perché il tavolo col barbecue è bellissimo, a chi piace la cucina è... si diverte a mettere tutte le cose insieme e poi cucina e poi tutti gli amici, è divertente. Mm. Mm. Właśnie nasze, nasz highlight dzisiejszego dnia. Później 
jest czerwone mięso tu i takie środkowe mięso. Wygląda apetycznie. Co to znaczy? Będzie pyszne. No, będzie pyszne. No to co zabierasz się za je zaraz. Czy ja a co tu jest włączone? No tutaj, tam jest włączone. Aha, miasto. Mikrofon. Halo, halo? To jest mikrofon. Panie. Ojej. O, o patrz teraz. No. Tu podniosę pani. Wow. Zobaczcie, że jest ciepło. Ale fajnie, nie? Taki zimny dzień? Ale O. O, już syczy. To wszystkie. To tak trochę miejsca zrobię. I to się na tym smaży? Tak. To teraz e, kolejną rzeczą, którą mm. e, polecam Ci spróbować. Wziąć sobie troszeczkę czosnku. Robisz surowy, ale też smażony jest pyszny. No to... Nie. Jak się szybko piecze. Jak się trochę tłuszczu, jak się trochę tłuszczu wydzieli, no. to tutaj z jednej strony zarzucimy też kimchi. A kimchi można smażyć. O, teraz będzie. Ale jak szybko. No. Ty tak szybko. Smażyć. Na takim ogniu. Pamiętasz jak myśmy robili ryż? No super. Trzeba było tak poczekać. Marakasy. Już trochę oleju się zrobiło. Możesz spróbować po kolei. Kimchi masz, tu masz drugie, tu masz drugie. Nie, nie, nie. Surowego kimchi. On maga, on maga kimchi to długie odcięcia. O, jakie było czerwone. No. Okay. Już bez jadła? <laughs> Patrz, patrz, jakie to niecierpliwe jest. Surowe jest mięso. Surowe mięso wsadziłaś. Jak ci smakuje? Ja bym musiał za smak? Dobry, nie wiem. Ja pytanie. Tego możesz zjeść. Weź sobie liścia. No, no, to jest twoje, więc możesz spokojnie wymykić. Czy uważaj, że będzie gorące? Podmuchaj troszeczkę. Tu masz jeszcze jakieś utebowane. O, proszę bardzo. Podmuchaj trochę, bo może być gorące. Z każdej strony, no, podwiń. Podwiń. I uważaj, uważaj, uważaj. No, o, jest super. O, o, super. I teraz jeszcze zupą sobie popić. Gorąco. Trochę podmuchać, popić. Tak się tam o, je. miejsca w takich restauracjach, gdzie oni sprzedają mięso, no. oni tą zupę robią bardzo mocną. A ty jak wiedziałeś, że to tak się wsadza? Nie. Po swojemu wszystko? Nie. Oglądało się jako realizany. Ryż. O. No. Dobrze wymieszaj. Inaczej. No. no a teraz jeszcze se spróbuj. O. o. I weź sobie. Dobra. Zimna zupa. Jol, mukuks. Z, no, z takiej kalorety. To jest trochę wymieszamy. To jest zimne, więc tak troszeczkę makaro sobie spróbuj. No, no i, i wciągaj nad zupą. Za zimne. No, za zimne dla ciebie to będzie, no. A tak z mięsem jak się zje? Makaron bardzo dobry. Cieniutki. Mm. To jest, próbuję tak malutko, nie tak mm. dużo jak ty. Tu, o. O, i dam ci mięsko. Ocet. Próbuj tak. Jak ci się podoba takie zawijanie w liście? Bardzo mi się różnego jest nie. Tak, bo to jest dla każdego smaczne, nawet dla takich wybrednych ludzi, którzy, którzy czegoś tam nie lubią. To jest normalnie pyszne. Pyszne. Ja ci dam, czekaj. To dla mamusi, że ci tak smakuje. A już, już czeka, już, już, jeszcze nie skręcił, już. A, 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 a. Mm. Mm. Wow. No. Tylko mi zębów nie wybi. No daj, no. I jak? Hmm? A jakbyś miała powiedzieć, jaka jest różnica pomiędzy tym mięsem, które jadłeś w Polsce, a tym mięsem tutaj, bekonem, to nie powiedz, jaka jest różnica. Takiego grubego goczku nie smażymy. Mhm. 
tylko takie cieniutkie, że jak się wysmaży, to się właściwie jak pergamin zwinie. I o to chodzi. Byłam bardzo głodna i to takie pyszne, że nie mam czasu na gadanie z tobą i opisywanie, jakie to jest dobre, bo jem tutejszy. Jest o wiele smaczniejszy niż nas, bo nie wysmaży się jak podeszła albo skwarek, tylko jest taki soczysty. Pomyślała, że ja zjem tłuszcze i ja tego nie czuję. Pyszne było delicious. Kimchi, czosnek i boczek. Wolę boczek niż mięso wołowe. Boczek pyszny. Tak się najadła, że dzisiaj już niczego więcej nie tknę, bo to było przepyszne. Soczyste, niby tłuste. Cały taki kawałek i cały takie to. I całą zupę. No zupę zjadli. I prawie ryż. Makaron ja prawie wszystkim że Wszystko cały zjadli. Kimchi puste tam jest. No. Widać no. po nas, że żarłoki. No i, i cały czas ten. Cały czas jeszcze jesz widzę e, Wszystko było. Wszystko. Przyjemność tego jedzenia była podwójna, bo jestem z tobą. Cicho. Będzie płacz. O, no to numuri na genero. Oj.